Being an administrator of a Salesforce org is a tough task and it becomes more tough when you have two functionalities to control a single thing like deactivating and freezing a user. So let's see what is the basic difference between them. Now let us see that what is the basic difference between deactivating a user and freezing a user. Before that you must be aware of that user record cannot be deleted from Salesforce organization up till now. Uh, there is an idea for that but uh, up till now we cannot delete user records from our Salesforce org. Once a user is uh, created, its record cannot be deleted. So in the, that situation we have two options. One is to deactivate the user and another one is of freezing the user. Let's see what is the difference between them. Deactivating a user. A uh, user record cannot be deleted in order to stop the user from logging into Salesforce organization administrators need to deactivate them. What that actually means is that uh, let's suppose you have a user in your org and you want that like uh, I mean you want that user should not be able to log in into your Salesforce account now. In that situation you will simply deactivate that user. Uh, like after deactivating that user he or she will not be able to log in into your Salesforce org. And uh, in freezing. Freezing a user also stops the user from logging into Salesforce organization but it is used when we are unable to deactivate a user and still wants to stop the user from logging in. So freezing also has the same functionality or same uh, like uh, operation that is to stop the user from logging into Salesforce organization. But the basic difference is that there come certain situations in which we cannot deactivate the user immediately. And if we still want the, that user should not be able to log in into our Salesforce account, then we'll first freeze that user. And after, uh, like, I mean, after that, after freezing that user, we can deactivate the user uh, uh, afterwards after doing certain things. And uh, like talking about these situations, that there comes a situation in which we cannot deactivate the account. So here is that situation: cannot deactivate a user if it is selected in a custom hierarchy field. If a user is selected into a custom hierarchy field, then we cannot immediately deactivate that user. In that situation, we'll first have to freeze that user so that the user uh, cannot be able to log in into our Salesforce org and do anything. And after freezing the user, we'll have to perform some steps to remove that user from that custom hierarchy field. And then we can deactivate the user from permanently removing the access of that user from our Salesforce org. Now let's see some more points about it. And the most important difference between deactivating a user and freezing a user is that deactivating a user frees up the license but freezing a user does not freeze up the license which can be used by another user. Let's take an example that you have five Salesforce licenses. In that situation if you are uh, deactivating like all the licenses are used by all uh, by, by five users. In that situation if you deactivate a user that license can be used by another user. But if you freeze a user, that license is not yet freed and it cannot be used by any other user. This is what is mentioned over here that deactivating user record uh, free up, frees up the license assigned to the user and freezing a user does not freeze the license assigned to the user. So this is the basic difference and the most important difference between deactivating and freezing the user. Take, that, take a note for that. And uh, here's another point for deactivating a user that if you have deactivated the user uh, like I mean over here report will not run if the deactivated user is set as running user. Let's say John is deactivated and there is a report in which we have set running user as John. Then in that situation that report will not run as we have deactivated John's user account. So this is the basic difference between like it is not the basic difference but all the differences between deactivating and freezing user. That's it. Now freeze. Don't you want a weekly video related to Salesforce to improve your knowledge and to get ahead in your career? Then hit the link down in the description to go to the YouTube channel if you're watching this video on Facebook or LinkedIn. And if you're watching this video on YouTube, just hit the subscribe button over here to get weekly videos all related to Salesforce with the Salesforce help. So, see you next week. Until then, bye-bye. Take care.